I look ten years younger. Only my mechanic will know for sure. <laughs> well, I bet that feels good on such a hot day, huh? It'll be a whole lot hotter when she gets here. Mom, whether we like it or not, she is Barbara's mother. I don't like it. Yeah, she's only going to be here for a week. Boy, if there's one thing I can't stand, it's a mother-in-law. Mom, you're a mother-in-law. I'm different. Yeah, you're different. <laughs> I gotta say that for you, Mom. You are different. Mom! Uh, that woman makes me boil over. What are you steaming about? At least you're safe in the garage. I gotta stay in the house with her. Uh-oh. Barbara, your mother's here. Oh, Fyra, it's so good to see you. Cindy, you get a dime for not breathing through your mouth anymore. Oh, and Randy, you're getting to be as handsome as your grandfather. Doesn't he look like his grandfather? Oh, and Moon, yes. Hello, doggy dear. Oh, uh, David, of course. Hi. I sure hope you have uh, a pleasure. David, would you uh, pay the cabbie? <laughs> Children, look what Grandma brought for you. Ooh, goody present. Thank you, Grandma. Oh, well. I, I get into that again. No, don't worry, I'll never get into that again. Is this all you brought? Going to be a short visit, huh? Oh, uh, <laughs> no, the rest of my luggage is coming in another cab. Now, David, the last time I was here, we decided to get rid of that, that. You decided to get rid of that. That. We like that, that. We decided to keep that, that. It's unsafe. It's a wreck. There are no power brakes, no power steering, no power windows. What windows? You'll never catch me in that thing. Ooh, I'd like to fasten my seatbelt right around her neck. <laughs> Everybody knows in the second life we all come back sooner or later As anything from a pussy cat to a man-eating alligator <coughs> The way you all may think my story is more fiction than it's fact But believe it or not, my mother did Decided she'd come back as a call She's a very own guiding star A 1928 port Dear. She helps me through everything I do And I'm so glad she's here I'm My mother the car My mother the car Oh, Barbara, I just don't understand you Why don't you do something? Surely you don't like that car Well, I'm not exactly crazy about it Well, then, Dave loves that car And I love Dave And that's it Love Who's talking about love? I am. Better help Dave with the baggage. Oh, no garbage disposal. Oh, poor dear, not even a garbage pail. Dear lady. Oh, who are you? I'm here to help solve all of your problems about getting rid of that car. Isn't that lovely? Dracula meets the wolf lady. I didn't know genies came out of garbage cans. I'm no genie, I'm Captain Manzini. My card, madam. At your service. <laughs> Don't move. It's, it's true. I've got it. I've got it. You're bound to get something sitting in a garbage can. No, no, dear lady. It's you enchanting you. Incredible. You must be Barb's younger sister. Oh, you dear man. Heavens no. I, I'm Barbara's younger mother. Her mother? Uncanny. 
And yet, looking at you, I'm reminded of my own sainted mother. May she rest in peace. Oh, I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? She's resting and she's very peaceful in a very expensive rest home. Oh, how sweet. Uh, uh, how do you happen to know my daughter? I'm an old friend of the family, dear lady. An old friend? Well, then how on earth... That's the price one has to pay for true friendship. Listen. Dave, Barbara, you and I all have the same problem. Only I have the answer. Voila! It's a gorgeous voila. Oh. Well, what do you think of the answer? Why, it, it's beautiful. But what's the problem? Your problem, dear lady, is that you want what's best for your sister. Uh, daughter. <laughs> Whatever. Our problem is Dave's stubborn pride. And, uh, what's your problem? I collect beautiful objects. It's my heart's desire. Oh, <laughs> Captain. <laughs> no, no, dear lady, it's not what you think. <laughs> Perhaps later. <laughs> well, what then? That 1928 porter. The porter? That rolling disaster? Madam! <laughs> you're speaking of the one automobile that is missing from my magnificent collection. Now, Barbara's heart is pining for a normal car. Miss pa? You mean you want to give Barbara that station wagon? In a word, yes. <laughs> In exchange for the porter. Now, Will you help me, dear lady? Will I? <laughs> How? Just tell me what to do. It's very simple. All you have to do is get the registration slip for the porter and give it to me. The registration slip? That's simple. Sign. Oh, not so simple. <laughs> Dave will never... Never mind Dave. The car is registered in both their names, Mr. or Mrs. Crabtree, so your lovely daughter can sign this registration slip? That will be no problem. Now, this must be just between you and I. Dave's stubborn pride, remember? Also, this gift, it would be nice if it came from you. Yes. Now, you'll be adequately compensated, say, $100? <laughs> say... Two hundred? <laughs> Say no more. How do I contact you? Never fear. I'll be around. Uh-oh. I just hope my registration slip isn't showing. The thought of you and the children riding around in that motorized covered wagon. I know it looks unsafe, but are you sure it's even legal? Of course. I mean, Dave has a registration slip on it and all that sort of thing. Really? He has? Where does he keep it? I don't know. Why? Because we need it. We do? What for? So you can sign it. Well, why do I need to sign it? Because we're trading in that freeway fossil for a brand new station wagon. Mother, that'd be wonderful. <laughs> But it's, it's Dave's car. Oh. Now, honey, you leave him to me. Even Dave can't turn down a brand new station wagon. <laughs> you want to bet? <laughs> now, the registration slip. This is just asking for trouble. Trouble? Dave will love the new station wagon. It'll be a wonderful surprise. Or a wonderful shock. I'm shocked. <laughs> That's fine, but it's me they're after. Don't worry, Mom. I put that registration slip in a very safe place. Well, go get it and lock it in my trunk. Good idea. <coughs> Mom? Get a move on. <clears throat> uh, you wouldn't happen to know where that very safe place is, would you? You mean you don't know where my registration slip is? <laughs> I know. I usually put things like that in a trunk in the attic. Or I usually put things like that in a, in a box in the basement. Look in the attic, box in the basement, or somewhere in between. Where's your mother? Uh, down in the basement, washing her hands. Been gone ten minutes. Her hands aren't that big. <laughs> I'm starved. I'll go see if I can find her. 
Mother. <laughs> yes, dear? What in the world happened? Uh, nothing. Nothing happened. That basement needs organizing. There must be 5,000 boxes down there. <laughs> oh? No. I'll go get dinner. Uh, let me help you, honey. Uh, excuse oh. me. Scott, sorry. Here, why don't you... Uh, you can take the potatoes in. All right. Oh, oh. What? The door to the basement's open. I'll get it, honey. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'd better go downstairs. Uh, honey, let the spiders fix their own webs. Oh, let's eat. I'm starved. I'd better see if the children are down there. Now, honey, the kids are in the den watching television now. Got a chance to eat alone. Let's eat. I'll be right back. <laughs> Mother Nedwick? Mother Nedwick? Randy, is Mother Nedwick in there? No, Dad. The attic. This is Mother Nedwick. If you're up in the attic, watch out for the... Freshening up. You, you sure you're okay? Oh, just my trick knee. You sit down there and I'll, I'll go get Barbara. Uh, oh, where is she? She's... I don't know. <laughs> Dear lady, what's taking so long? By morning. Morning? <laughs> I know you're trying, dear lady, but this is a job for Captain Manzini. Go to it. Uh-oh, we've got trouble. I mean, real trouble. Trunk up in the attic. Yes, because it wasn't in the box in the basement. What did you lose, Mommy? Nothing important, dear. <gasps> Children, how would you like to play treasure hunt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the treasure, Grandma? An auto registration slip. Now, each of you gets an ice cream cone if you find it and bring it to me. Uh, two scoops if you don't tell Daddy. A two scoop surprise? Chocolate and two scoops. What's an auto legislation slip? A pink piece of paper about so big, and it has red and black printing on it. pink and it doesn't say state of California on it. All the time, new rules. Here, you take these. 
hello. No, I'm sorry, you got the wrong number. Move, look out. It was raining the day he bought the car. Of course, his golf bag. Maybe. Look behind the paintings. There might be a wall safe. Change the rules again. <laughs> Moon, what have you done? Barbs, is there a safe behind any of your pictures? <laughs> what would we keep in it? But you just gave me an idea. Behind our wedding picture upstairs. Oh, what a mess. down someplace. Trunk in the attic, box in the basement. Trunk in the attic. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mom, wait. Ow! Did you find the registration slip yet? No, no, but I'm still looking. Then I'm running away. Far away. Goodbye. Mom, wait. You can't run away. No. Well, Sonny, I'm not hanging around here. Not with Mancini in the house. He's probably found the slip by now. Mom, if I can't find the slip, how in the world can... Out of my way, I'm chickening out. Mom. Mom, come on, give me another chance. All right. David, I'll give you exactly three minutes to find that registration slip. Uh, thanks, Mom. Three minutes, David. Remember, it's countdown. Get set, go. One, two, three, four. Come on, Mom. I'll count, count slower. Then you'll just have to ask David where it is. Oh, he'd never tell me. 24, 25, 20. Dave, what are you doing? Uh, thanks. Uh, I'm uh, tired. I'm, I'm going to bed. 26. Well, why didn't you ask him about the registration slip? 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. David, what are you looking for? My pajamas. I, I can't find them. 40, 41, 42. 43, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. I thought I told you two to go to bed. We're thirsty. We want a drink of water. Four, fifty-five. Manzini! Yikes! Manzini, I'll break 
Take your arm. 657. Man, see me, let me out of here. Man, I'm not kidding. 59. Looky, the treasure. later. Now, Barbara, if you come right down here, dear. Now, oh, if I can just find a pen. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, honey, you are just going to love that station wagon. Now, here, sign. That's it. Good. Thank you, dear lady. What's he doing here? Hey, what were you doing in the front closet? Where do you go? Where's Manzini? <laughs> Right, little doggy. Come on. Uh, uh, Come on. <laughs> Geronimo! Him. All right. Okay, man, you give me your hand. Uh, I'll, I'll need both of them. Hey. Thank you. Get me out of here. That wasn't cricket, Crockett. Crabtree. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever! That's the last we'll be seeing of him for a few minutes. I only did it for you. Well, I guess I better fix that tire so I can take your mother to the airport. What's the rush? We'll call a cab. Here, again. Don't help him out, David. They'll be along to pick him up any minute. It's trash night. Goodbye, Bye. children. Goodbye. Oh, Bye. 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 Such a wonderful Bye. 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 Nice trip. Thank you. Bye, Bye. Bye. Grandma. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Mother Mary. Bye, Grandma. Bye. 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 Bring another present next time you come. <laughs> Well, Mom, there she goes. As they used to say in gangster movies, I should have taken her for a ride, say. Mom. <laughs> Driver, don't dally. I don't want to miss my plane. Yes, madam. Oh, Captain, how nice to see you out of a garbage can. <laughs> Listen, dear lady, next time you come to visit your family, this is what we're going to do. Everybody knows in the second life we all come back sooner or later. Anything from a pussy cat to a man-eating alligator. Coming up this morning on TV Land, a rare gem from the dawn of network broadcasting, starring the great one Jackie Gleason in his first ever TV series. Don't miss The Life of Riley this morning at 11 Eastern, 8 Pacific, only on TV Land. Now stay tuned for Mr. Ed next on TV Land. I do and I'm so glad.